we're going to let's focus on what he said because he, he was going on our behalf in quotes okay let me say what well, president Macky Sall is a representative of the African Union he was invited there as a guest you earlier heard he said we are not a member we don't have a seat there so one of the plea he asked for a seat there and he gave some of the points he said Africa remains an essential partner on an international scene it is the eighth economy power by GDP owned by more than 60% of uh, Aribo land with a population estimated of nearly 2.5 billion people between 2025 to 2020, uh, 2050, underlining the activities that Africa is going, is going to be a very good market and that uh, when it comes to food security and energy, Africa can even help them. But do you think that speech is going to mean anything to them? And was he on point asking for a seat at this time at the G summit? G20 summit. Yes, uh, Emanuela, I want to appreciate Makisa for that audacity, for the audacity to be able to speak out to the axle of evil. Because the G7 is the axle of evil. The G20 is the axle of evil. And uh, if the African Union president, chairperson, has that audacity to speak to them in the face, it means that, as Mete Atu said, time will tell. You know the African Union is a puppet. I call them the weapon of mass destruction against the African people because they cannot they, they can't they can't do anything for the interest of the African man. Seventy percent of their budget is being financed by the European Union and United Nations. So it means that the dance to their tune, because as we put it, he who pays the piper that pays the tune. Mm -hmm. So most of these things I even want to believe, I really wonder, but I just pray it came from him, that it was not a scheme. Just as uh, Sheikh was saying, that it's a drama. Maybe they wrote the speech and gave him to come and read. Let me just strongly believe that it came from him, Makita. And if it's and he coming believes from that him, it can work. <laughs> yes, I just want to believe that it came from him, because he who pays the paper dictates the tune. They mm -hmm. wrote a piece of paper and gave him to read, so that the world should see and that think that trying. democracy, yeah. and think that there is balance of power, mm. that there is democracy, whereas we understand all the tactics. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, the G20 being the world's biggest economic forum mm -hmm. means that it's economic interest. Yeah, definitely. Voila. And uh, considering that if you strengthen Africa, you are going to weaken the European Union. You are going to weaken the G20. So they are just using us as a bet. As a matter of fact, saying that we are the eighth, econ Africa is the eighth economy in terms of GT GDP is a blatant lie. If we do proper analysis and evaluation, Africa is supposed to be number one. But we know what we are going through. Yeah. Okay, take for instance, why is Africa not part of the G20? G20 is made up of 19 nations plus the European Union. And when we say plus the European Union, we are talking about other 10 or 15 countries. Mm -hmm. 27. 27 countries that are under the European Union. That, if you measure their economy, they are lesser than that of Africa. Geopolitically, when we bring Africa together and they say it is eight in terms of GDP, mm -hmm. is that not enough economic strength to be part of the G20? You see, they, they bring in South Africa and observer status. Because basically, when you look, you see Europe, it is France, Italy, yeah, Germany, and uh, there are four. France, Italy, Germany, and UK, mm -hmm. who are permanent members, plus the European Union. You see, it is very strategic. And then look at Africa. They invite us as observers, guests. as guests. <laughs> So, you mean to tell me that the whole of the African economy is weaker than that of Italy? That's a member? The whole of the African economy is weaker than that of France? Yeah. A France that depends on French Africa? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, it is really scandalous. But we want to believe that uh, this, this issue 
of geopolitical strife that has been brought up by Vladimir Putin. Because they are now operating in blocks. You have the Russo Chinese block, mm -hmm. you have the US European Union block. Mm -hmm. That is where the, the conflict is now. And it is enlightening other nations, enlightening other blocks. It is high time we create our own geopolitical block in Africa and fight like a block. Because what is really bringing Africa behind is like, is because we want to go in as individual nations. Yeah. Let us learn from the tactics of the European Union. They send in their big four. Then they go now and gather all the other nations and bring them in a block like the European Union. Let us be able to, to do cross-border diplomacy in Africa, collaborate and go in as a block, and we'll be able to have a voice in the G7 or in the G20 and will be considered in future and this is going to strengthen us to be able to fight if not if we go as individual nations it's not going to work this is Afrique Media Le Monde